Calling all peanut butter fans, this video is for you. Today, we are making a copycat of Crumble's ultimate peanut butter cookie. <laughs> What is up you guys, it is Carly here and you are officially cooking with Carly and today we are making the ultimate peanut butter cookie. So let's talk about exactly what that is. It is a nice, thick, chewy peanut butter cookie that is filled with peanut butter, rolled in sugar and has a peanut butter drizzle on top. If you love peanut butter, this cookie is for you. It is loaded with peanut butter, and is packed with the peanut butter flavor. You just can't get any better than this if you want a peanut butter cookie. So let's talk about our ingredients. We have our butter here, some granulated sugar and brown sugar, vanilla, some eggs, of course our creamy peanut butter, and then all purpose flour and a little baking powder and salt. That's all we need for the cookie base. We're going to make the cookie dough and then we're going to stuff it with some peanut butter roll it in some sugar and then bake them in the oven. So to get started, let's add our butter to the dish. This is just salted butter, room temperature. And while I'm adding this butter to the bowl here, I need to tell you that down in the description below, there's a clickable link to my website where this recipe lives and will live forever. And if you scroll down to the bottom or hit that jump to recipe button at the top, It'll take you right to the recipe card where you can print out this recipe, has all of the ingredients, the amounts, specific instructions, everything like that to make your life easier. So the butter is in, let's add in our sugar and brown sugar, and we're going to mix this until it is nice and smooth and creamy and fluffy, all that good stuff. Next, we're going to add in our eggs, vanilla, and our creamy peanut butter here, and then mix that until it is all nice and combined. There's one egg, and two. And we'll add in our peanut butter. All right, let's mix this until it's combined, and then we will add in our dry ingredients. All right, that is smooth and creamy and smells like peanut butter. So now we are ready to add in our flour, salt, and baking powder. And we're going to mix this until the, the dough forms. That's all for our cookie dough. Start slowly and then you can gain speed. Now it's time to scoop out our dough, fill it with the peanut butter, get it all on the pan and ready for the oven. So I know if you've watched any of my other Crumble Copycat videos, if you haven't, go watch the whole library. There's lots of them now. But I always make these recipes make 12 cookies and this one makes 10. I'm sorry, I'm usually, I'm good at fractions. I can cut fractions in half really easily. I cut three and three quarters in half the other day, but it does not make your life easy. So to make your life easy with the measurements, to make everything nice round numbers, we're making 10 cookies today, not 12. With that said, we are going to still use this one half cup measuring cup to portion out our dough. We will just be making 10 instead of 12 today. Plain white sugar, granulated sugar here that we will roll the dough in. And we have a little bit of peanut butter here to stuff into the cookie, okay? So let's portion this out. We want half a cup here and we're going to roll it into a ball and then use our thumb to kind of press an indent into the cookie dough like this and then grab a spoon and we're going to eyeball about like a half a tablespoon of peanut butter, just like this, and put it inside of the cookie dough, just like that. And then close the cookie dough up 
like this, roll it into that ball again. I'm going to flatten it slightly so it kind of looks like a hockey puck. And then roll it and press the sugar all over this cookie dough, just like that. And then this is ready to be baked. You're going to want to put just like five cookies on each sheet because they will spread a little bit. So I'm just going to repeat this and fill up this pan and then we're going to get them in the oven. All right, these are ready for the oven. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees and these cookies take a little bit longer to bake. We're going to bake them from anywhere from like 17 to 20 minutes. They will spread and they're going to start to crackle a little bit on top and that's when you know it's ready to pull them out of the oven. So these are headed into the oven. See you on the flippity flop. While the cookies are in the oven, let's take some time now and like the video, do that for me, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more crumble copycat recipes. I've got quite the growing list of ones I'm working on, so there will be more on my channel soon. And then if you have any specific requests, go in the comments below and let me know which one you want me to add to my list. So here are what the cookies look like coming out of the oven. You can see that they've spread a little bit. They're still nice and thick and they've got those little crackles on top like I talked about. We want the cookies to still be warm while we do our peanut butter drizzle. That way the peanut butter melts just slightly. To make it easier to squeeze our peanut butter out of the Ziploc bag like I just have in here, I'm just gonna warm the peanut butter up with my hands really fast. So it is easier to come out of the little slit that we're going to cut in the corner of this bag. Now, Crumble, they have like this special bottle that has three different spouts on it. So they just do like two little drizzles or swirls, I guess, with the peanut butter and it has three beautiful swirls and they look all connected and pretty, but I don't have that. I'm assuming you don't have that cool bottle at home too. So we're just gonna do it with our baggie here. So I've just warmed up the peanut butter and I'm pushing it into the corner of the baggie. And I'm going to just snip the teeniest little edge off of my baggie here. And then we're going to do our swirl drizzle. So I'm just going to do like a cursive E almost, and then follow that up with two more. So there's a total of three little swirls on each cookie to make it look like the crumble ones. And we're just going to repeat that with all of our cookies here. Because we're doing this with the cookies still warm, the peanut butter is going to kind of melt together. So you just have the nice little swirly design on there, which you can see on this cookie that I did first, how it's just a nice swirl design. It doesn't look like a bunch of different peanut butter <laughs> strands anymore. And that's all you need to do to make the ultimate peanut butter cookie from Crumble. These are served warm, but I can attest that they are also delicious room temperature and chilled in the fridge. They will stay good at room temperature for two or three days. You can toss them in the fridge for about a week or toss them in the freezer and keep them for you know month, two months in the freezer and then pull them out when you're ready to eat them. Just let them sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes and you will be good to go. It'll be just like you've had a freshly baked cookie just that day. The ultimate peanut butter cookie recipe has been highly requested by you. There's been multiple comments on past videos for this one. So if you're one that has been waiting for this cookie recipe, definitely make this. It is just as good, if not better than the original. Do you see that peanut butter in the middle? It is stuffed with peanut butter. Yes, I do. You see it? All right, the taste test. Can I have a taste test? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I love peanut butter cookies. Bomb. This is the bomb.com. Make them. Won't regret it.